How are you doing guys? Here is Szarbek in the outdoor studio. We have a wonderful weather today here in Poland. So I thought that would be a great day to do some spinning on my Feld B16 bike uh, and actually present it to you because you have seen this one in our studio, uh, Szarbek studio, and that's definitely one of the best budget TT bikes on the market. Now I'm not so keen of, uh, keen of saying about any bike. This is the best, uh, but this one is definitely one of the best uh, budget TT bikes um, and you can definitely use it as a benchmark if you're gonna buy something else. So Felt B16, an awesome looking um, time trialing uh, triathlon bike uh, which you can purchase for just under $1500. Now let's just not talk about the money let's talk about what do we get here uh, on this bike so we have a full carbon frame with uh, carbon dropouts uh, these are horizontal dropouts so those dropouts will give you a chance uh, to adjust your um, your wheel position uh, to the frame so that it will be as aerodynamic as it can be uh, depending on the tires you are putting on the bike so this is really good feature uh, and that one one of that's one of the advantages of uh, getting this frame maybe the disadvantage would be uh, removing and putting the wheel back on the frame like when you are traveling uh, for example because uh, it, it gets a bit more difficult to remove the wheel if you have such kind of dropouts but as for the um, you know wheel adjusting here this is a great stuff so this is a uh, carbon frame it, it won't be a super light and super stiff one but definitely the one if you are just like spinning for your time trialing or a triathlon it will be just strong enough uh, some disadvantages th disadvantages of this one just in the second now uh, when we go to the front we have really awesome looking uh, carbon fork with carbon blades but as you can see here up there the silver uh, stuff here that's the alloy steerer uh, this is the 2015 model uh, 2016 and 17 as well so the next year uh, will have same setup so carbon frame and carbon fork carbon bladed fork with uh, alloy steerer now uh, another thing i love about this bike is the look of the bike and the details now at this price price point felt which is super awesome uh, brand when it comes to uh, aerodynamic uh, stuff and aerodynamic bikes uh, they really have thought about details now if we look uh, about um, uh, on the on the frame it's matte black with some white and i don't know orange um finishing you will have matching fork which looks so awesome and also you will have matching decals on the wheels these are stickers so probably those would be coming off a little bit um, after some months of use and uh, and when you clean so definitely don't use some high pressure uh, cleaning uh, on the bike uh, but uh, those um, rims are also matte black if you look then at the caliper brakes those are matte black uh, both in the front and in the rear and the crank arms uh, crank uh, set that we have from FSA that's the model Omega it is also uh, it comes also in matte uh, black uh, then matte black matching aero bars and uh, the uh, carbon uh, seat post and also really nice graphics on the saddle look just cool so the look of the bike it is super important for me because i i want to have a bike that i love and this one really belongs to those bikes i, I really uh, really love now some other details are the anodized uh, bolts for the uh, bottle cage and even the uh, cable ends are also in this uh, nice orange anodized uh, color so i do like it uh, it is really uh, really good now let's just uh, talk about the frame uh, the frame is super stable on the road look at the uh, at the weather today it is really windy and this one is stable that means uh, you don't you don't want to be trying to force this bike to turn it doesn't like to go uh, through corners and i don't agree with some reviewers who say it's it's just good in cornering uh, it's not but it's not supposed to because we are putting so much weight on the front wheel uh, on the time trial bike so it would behave 
uh, really crazy especially on the downhills in the windy conditions with some uh, deep section wheels so uh, this uh, uh, this geometry is really really cool uh, by the way I'm uh, I'm 182 uh, centimeters or six feet uh, tall and this size which is 56 suits me just great I love uh, this setup and uh, I found my position on the bike really really quickly not even changing many things uh, on the bike now I would say that this frame set has two areas uh, this one like the chain, chain stays the main tube which is just stiff enough and uh, those uh, seat stays and the uh, top tube which is not really really stiff so uh, if you are uh, sitting on the saddle and you pull the bars uh, upwards you will be able to uh, really uh, see even that your frame is uh, very very flexy here now it's not really uh, designed in order to be uh, to be stiff because look how low profile it is it is really aerodynamic low profile um, frame but definitely those uh, higher models with uh, even like more they call it like ultra high modules uh, carbon fiber would make this area of the bike uh, really really uh, stiff this one just isn't so it's actually it's, it's definitely not for sprinters but it's not made for sprinters uh, but when you are just like I, I would say cruising for your for your best time trial or triathlon uh, like record this one will be just enough now the wheels the wheels of course will be kind of kind of heavy because these are budget wheels uh, but those bearings are surprisingly smooth and i'm very happy with that also the number of the small spokes uh, make really a stiff and durable wheel uh, and that's really good for those um, beginning cyclist beginning with triathlon or, or time trial the rear caliper brake has been taken off this like more drag area uh, down here uh, and it has those cartridges so that you you won't have to adjust your brakes uh, when uh, replacing those uh, braking pads which is good because on the other side uh, this uh, allen key would not go through your uh, through your uh, crank set so uh, it is good that we have it uh, by the way there is no such um, uh, cartridge uh, cartridges here in the front so it is just different um, uh, braking pads you're gonna be buying for your uh, front and rear uh, brakes now the aero bars uh, the base bar is uh, kind of just just you know aero we, we here we have a tea drop and here we have uh, like oval uh, shape which is uh, just okay but I would say with those aero extensions it is really awesome as for a budget bike it is uh, really easy to find your position uh, on the aero bars on your bars uh, and you're you're just able to adjust anything like the angle of your bars of your extensions the height of your um, uh, elbow pads or arm pads here uh, you are getting some additional uh, the spacers uh, with the bike so this is fully customizable and really important thing on many budget uh, aero extensions aero bars uh, you really have to use a lot of uh, force to actually um, fasten your 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 bolts here because it's easy to uh, to change the position on your uh, aero bars while you're riding so it will not uh, be really really fast enough uh, using um, the as much Newton meters as you should be so uh, I, I, may, I maybe said it in a complicated complicated way but anyway uh, you just bolt it in and it will just sit into place so you won't be uh, seeing your aero bars like going up and down when, while riding it is just uh, strong enough so I like it now those uh, those uh, pads here look at this this is some really good quality pads and i love position uh, on this bike uh, now in terms of the uh, components we'll just uh, turn around the bike and show you uh, what we have here uh, and here we have it you can see uh, i already mentioned the fsa omega crankset which is like budget entry level crankset it's it won't be uh, super stiff uh, but it's just enough and it's in matte black so it really uh, fits the design of a uh, whole bike 
Um, you could say that the, this bike comes on one of five components, but actually you are getting here the front and the rear derailleur uh, and the chain uh, from Shimano. Uh, that's the uh, HG uh, X11, uh, exactly. Uh, so it's just fine setup uh, and the cassette comes from SRAM and I'm very happy about it because uh, in my opinion SRAM does make a bit better cassettes from Shimano's that's one thing and the other thing uh, the gearing ratio on SRAM cassettes fits me uh, better than Shimano so uh, it was like coincidence that I got it uh, because there's no choice of Shimano or, or SRAM but this one is just better and it's also very shiny silver so it's it's a nice one uh, now the shifters come from micro shift and they look like uh, they, they look nice uh, they look like good quality you can adjust uh, like how hard how much uh, force you, you should use in order to change the gears but this little stuff here in the front uh, comes off so maybe not completely but as you can see it moves um, those scratches here just just came on on those uh, while I was transporting uh, the bike uh, on my car uh, but you can see what happened here otherwise I do like it uh, in terms of the shifting this one shifts much better than my cat 10 with 105 so you know that I've uh, I replaced 105 uh, 11 speed into Altigra 10 speed on my cat 10 bike because uh, you know connected to the cable routing it wasn't the best setup this one just works very very fine so guys um, all in all this bike is a really really good under fifteen hundred dollars uh, bike uh, there is not many things that have changed between 2015 and 17 uh, this one on sale is a really bargain uh, in my opinion uh, i like this uh, bike and once more i'm not uh, like professional uh, time trialist or triathlonist uh, i'm a cross-country rider and i do train on the road bike but i just I just love this bike and I decided to do some racing in TT uh, next year as well. Now you might see those cables uh, very long here, don't worry about it, I'm not cutting them uh, just, uh, just now because uh, I have to find my position first, so I'm just leaving it like it is. Very important thing, we have a great um, a vertical uh, port for those cables here so no rubbing against the frame that's one thing the second thing this is a uh, completely turning proof so nothing wrong happening uh, to those cables when you turn and also i've tried at least one uh, the rb so that's the rear, rear brake uh, i removed the cable i removed it like took it off the frame and put it back back there and it just goes through a whole frame to the uh, to the uh, cable stop on the caliper brake so there is no problem with internal cable routing which i'm which i'm uh, so often complaining about on different bikes but i only tried the rear brake so no front derailleur and rear, der rear derailleur uh, just uh, tested just yet uh, but if it's as good as the rear brake i would say internal cable riding is awesome uh, on this bike so guys i do like the bike let me know because i know there is quite a few uh, triathlonists or time trialists who use this bike what do you think about this one what do you what do you think about flexi upper area of this frame and strong uh, area of the bottom bracket which is strong enough in my opinion for uh, racing and that's it uh, in just below the video you can see the link on the store where I got this bike uh, it's not an affiliate link I do love it and one more thing Zafiro um, tires here are 23 C but measure with the caliper like the width is 25 millimeters and i thought it's really kind of it looks like wider than 23 and it's 25 actually so i don't know uh, look at this one <laughs> uh, i would say this is like wide type of 23c which is really good because um, you can pump it up uh, between 100 and 120 uh, psi's i'm running 100 and it's awesome so you'll be seeing me much much more training uh, on my tt bike and there will be more about bike fit uh, and how to prepare for uh, doing actually 
uh, some racing uh, races uh, against the clock guys i forgot about very important thing which is the saddle this is like basic saddle from felt actually it has to match you know the price point of the bike but it is awesome uh, i rode this bike like um, hmm, 12 times so far one of my rides one of my latest rides the latest one actually was seven hours ride in the aero position uh, and i felt awesome on this bike uh, on the saddle it is uh, actually it is of, of course wider because th this is the tt saddle and very soft here in the front uh, without any cutout it really really felt uh, very well uh, on my ride so i like it as well thanks for watching guys uh, very very soon you will see our shy bike show challenge on this bike versus toyota prius or prius uh, so that's going to be uh, really exciting and thanks for watching see you soon bye bye